There's been a lot of conversation and debate around Bitcoin and inflation. Is it a hedge? How should it perform in a high inflation environment? And are markets forward looking or not? Natalie Brunel was recently on a Fox News special around inflation, and she had some really interesting thoughts as to why people should be turning to Bitcoin, looking at it, learning about it, and understanding an asset that cannot be debased away. Here's Natalie's comments on Bitcoin and inflation. You believe the entire world would be using crypto, even if it's limited to certain projects. I think the entire world will be using Bitcoin. Why? Because we need a superior form of money. Is there, would there be enough Bitcoin out there to, you know, to, to make it a viable backbone for the entire financial, global financial system? Well, that's exactly the point, because you know what Bitcoin is immune to? Inflation. And we need a form of money, a superior form of money that's immune to that. Because who benefits from inflation? The rich people, the people who have assets and the people at the bottom really suffer. And we've had never had this bad of wealth concentration since the late 1920s. And money does doesn't really trickle down, but the defaults will trickle up. And I think everyone in this room can agree that at some point that money printer will go burr again. It has to. It's just math. We're too far into debt. And when it does, the bubble will get even bigger. The wealth concentration will get even worse. And thank goodness we have a parallel system through technology that we can peacefully exit into and start accumulating Bitcoin to fix some of these problems and leave behind, demonetize the Fed's monopoly on money. As we continue to live in a perplexing, interesting and kind of chaotic world, one thing is certain, there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. You can't create more of them. As we continue to see loose monetary policy and undisciplined fiscal policy become pervasive around the world, Bitcoin is the signal among the noise. It continues to simply follow the programmatic monetary policy and produce block after block after block of transactions. No matter if inflation is high or low, no matter if demand is high or low, Bitcoin is unresponsive to changing market dynamics. The world has to change to Bitcoin. That's the way that money should be. That's the way money's going to be most likely moving forward. Hey you, did you like this video? Great, we make five of them a day and post them here on this channel. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and see you next time.